Now let us see how the tree can be built using a adjacency matrix of the graph. So we have an adjacency matrix of the graph which we have been seeing since last few sessions and uh, we are trying to build what is uh, called uh, breadth first breadth first uh, way of uh, building the tree from the graph so for this uh, we are using uh, two data structures one uh, a binary data structure which uh, has uh, bits or flags reserved for each node so each node here is uh, represented by a binary bit and uh, if a particular node is used then a visited is paid one if it is not used it will be a zero and we have a queue which uh, begins with uh, some node usually node one and then uh, the queue is uh, enqueued with uh, the next nodes which are neighbors to the particular node which is under uh, the discussion okay let's begin our journey so node 1 node 1 we begin with and then a node 1 we see what all are adjacent to node 1 from node 1 you can see 3 is adjacent 5 is adjacent 6 is adjacent 7 is adjacent. So 3 5 6 7 come to the each so we have used 3 5 6 and 7 so it's uh, equal unto saying that uh, from 1 we have 3 then we have 5 then we have 6 Finally, we have seven. So, all the adjacent uh, nodes from one are added to the queue. So, the work of uh, one is over. So, we dequeue one from the queue and make that the node one is visited so who is next next in the queue is 3 now work for 3 go to row number 3 and see what all things can be done so 2 is required so 1 you cannot use because it's already visited then using 1 again means you are creating a loop so this is not allowed so one cannot be used so what next from three if you look at it the row three of the adjacent metric we get a two so add two to the queue so that's at the end of the queue two gets added so anything else to add from 3? Nothing. So work of 3 is over. So DQ3 from the queue and uh, declare that this work is over. So say 3 has been visited. Then who is next? Next is 5. So look at uh, row 5. 1, 1 is already visited cannot go 4 4 is not visited neither found in the queue so we can add 4 to this 
4 gets added. Then 7. 7 is already there. So what did we got? From 3, we added a 2. So 2 gets added. Then from 5, we see 1 cannot be added. 4 can be added. So from 5, 4 is added. Then 7, 7 is already there in the queue. Therefore, we cannot add 7 to it. What else? That's it. Okay. So work of uh, 5 is over. So then declare that uh, 5 is visited. So next on the queue is 6. So go to row number 6 of the adjacency matrix. Then see 1 cannot be used because it is already visited. 2 cannot be added because it's already on the queue. Then nothing else to talk about. So that's it. So work of 6 is over. So we declare that the 6 also visited. Then on the queue is 7. Okay, go to 7. 1, 2 and 5, 1 is over, 2 is there on the queue, 5 is also visited, therefore nothing to add, so 7's work is also over, so say 7 completed, then who is remaining, 2, next on the queue is 2, ok, then get to row number 2, of the adjacency matrix, See who all can be visiting the next. So the next one will be 3. 3 already visited. 4. 4 is already on the queue. We cannot add again. Therefore, nothing to be done. 6 already visited. 7 already visited. Therefore, 2's work is also over. Then declare that. 2 is visited and now we have 4 so go to the row 4 go to row 4 and see can we add anything new so the next one is 2 2 is already visited then we have 5 5 is already visited so nothing more to add from this therefore we declare that 4 also visited and we don't have anything left because nothing got added to the queue and all elements whichever were added are dequeued and if you look at the visited uh, thing it says that uh, all nodes of your graph have visited. So that's the final copy. So that's the tree which we built using breadth first search logic. So that's how uh, breadth first search logic works and through this we get a uh, uh, tree and uh, definitely this tree is the exact uh, version of what we had discussed and created this manually and now we try to work uh, more machine friendly way and uh, that's the thing so we need uh, two data structures for doing that that's it so that's how bed first search can be used to convert a graph into a tree. Next uh, session, let us see how depth first uh, search can be used for the same action. Thank you.